Hey folks, this is IOEther and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin. Yeah! He is in the T29. It's a tier 8 game on Erlenberg. And when you're bottom tier, it's unfortunate. <laughs> he is playing with a couple of friends. He has got um, USMC Metal Masher and Streaks the Smurftastic. Those are amazing names, you guys. Um, and they are in, well, scout tanks, actually. So that should be fun. And uh, the only thing I saw the, the conversation going in chat was Alex saying, easier said than done a couple of times. So apparently somebody's decided that he's going to do something epic and amazing. Um, Though it would be great if we had the tire twos actually going where the heavies are supposed to go, and uh, one wasn't going out to be a tank destroyer and the other wasn't committing suicide. So you know, there's that. We do have a side shot on T62 or Type 62, and thank we actually get the shot off. It looks like Alex is gonna proceed across the the river here. The Challenger is not shooting us at all, though. You know, at this point in time, we, we would have no defenses if he were to peek out and put a shell into us, especially when we're caught in the river like this. That'd be especially bad for us. But the Challenger's not trying any of that. Waits until we're in an incredibly decent position and then shoots a shell into our gun mantle. Unfortunately for us, our first shell missed over the top of him. Get to put a shell into him, and now all he's got to look at is gun mantle. Oh, he's actually going to be shooting at our ally in the Tiger 2, who's uh, over there trying to commit suicide. Oh, almost a shell into the drive wheel, but not quite. The Tiger 2 does finish him off, and the GW Panther says hello. Though, looks like somebody else hit, then hit the Tiger 2. So, yeah, I guess it's okay. Looks like both GWs are looking at us, though they're not platooned up, so... That's just us being lucky right there. Ooh, look at this shot over the Rebel at the FV-4202. Unfortunately, it bounced somehow off a tank with no armor. So we must have hit the, uh, the curved surface just around the gun barrel right there. Second shell, I think, actually tipped to go to do anything. Um, if it didn't hit, if it did hit, it hit really low down here. Uh, but that shell finally got flying straight and true went right in. And this guy has no idea where he's getting shot from, so he's going to get hit one more time. And uh, actually, no, not by us. We do not take him out. Smurftastic does as we bring the gun back to bear on Lorraine, who's for some reason is just sitting out in the middle of the open trying to unload his entire clip before he dies. And it's just not going to work out well for him. Bye. Uh, so he did what do two penetrating shots wait no he shot us six times <laughs> so he unloaded his entire clip and then just sat there I mean it's possible he had his tracks blown off but God of God, against this overwhelming force he, he had the opportunity to shoot us twice and th even three times and then he probably should have just bailed. Um, he didn't, though. He sat there and unloaded the entire clip. And then was surprised when he promptly got murdered. Um, you know, when you're going to play an auto order, you really got to ambush people. But once the ambush fails, you need to run. If the ambush succeeds and you can clip out an enemy, then do it. But the, he obviously... <laughs> was not gonna be able to oh lord that was not not worth his tank killing lord or to your opponent as uh well thankfully artillery doesn't kill us does leave us on a smidge of health and this uh ebr really wants to finish us off unfortunately for him though well he can't shoot through this gun mantle and uh pretty sure that's where he's trying to shoot Actually, though, if he used to fire some HG, he'd have a lot better chance of killing us. Well, that's all 
done with. There is only a GW right there. We're going to be able to take a little bit of... Revenge. <laughs> I was going to say we could take some revenge, but no, that's not even going to be a thing. As the C-71 starts ricocheting shells off of us like mad. Um, but apparently we can't see him because he is just way too stealthy. So it looks like uh, Alex is trying to get the T-71 to continue firing. But instead, let's just take pot shots at KV-4. KV-4 is not going to be able to do much. Oh, hello T-71. How are you doing? Oh, I wish we were loaded right now. Well, apparently t 71 is just going to stay out in the open. And let us hit him. And the, um, next time, if, if you could duck and weave and dodge, you'd survive a little longer as a scout tank than driving straight you know, across the opponent's view. Oh, that shell was never going to connect. And look at that. Smurf-tastic does take... Wait, I was going to... That is where he got shot from. Where did our ally die? I don't know. Oh, over there. So apparently, Metal Mas Masher went on his own over there and with it, the rest of the platoon and got himself killed. So this is a lesson in why you want to stick together with your platoon mates because if you're way over there they can't help you. And if everything suddenly turns on you, you have an issue. Um, this is by far one of my favorite tanks at tier 7. I don't think I have even another tank that comes too close to it. Um... Yeah, just because of the the fact that this is such a versatile tank and such a great tank for just holding ridge lines, you can hold ridge lines against T95s and against other big heavy guns just by being a little smart with this thing. As long as they have to aim up at you, or they can only see your turret, then there isn't much for them to work with. And if they're really dumb, they shoot these little boxes on the end of your tank that aren't hit boxes and don't count for nothing. So just uh, don't worry about shots through those or leaving those exposed because it doesn't do nothing. Um, it's great. I love this thing. Um, so yeah, let's jump over to the post power results and see what he got for this. First class master badge. Nice. Hand of God, bruiser, demo expert, fire for effect. Shellproof, three bonds. He also earned the Spartan Confederate Seawall and High Caliber Awards. Unfortunately, we did only put the one shell into the FE 4202. Um, two into that, and actually, nothing else of surprise. Well done overall. This was a great game. Uh, I enjoyed watching you play it. I, I want to go back and play my T29 again now. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get a game like this. I'm going to get a game on, like, you know, what's it called? Kampanovka, and I'm going to be sat on an open field getting shredded. But, oh well. Um, this thing is beautiful, and I love playing it. And I actually love watching other people have great games in it. Uh, whether or not he was on a premium account or not, he would have made some cash on this game, and it was well played either way. Well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in and uh, helping me relive the glory days of playing the T29. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do hit that like button. It really helps me out. And if you're still watching, tell me because I want to know how many folks that watched these all the way through to the end. It's hard to tell sometimes. Also, last note is I will be streaming uh, today for as long as I can as well as tomorrow. So come out and join me. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE throughout.